we learned about how tools like metagenomics can be used to probe the microscopic world of the microbiome. We can go further down the size scale and study even something as minuscule as the atomic structure of crystals using other tools like X-ray crystallography. The landmark discovery of X-ray diffraction and its application in crystallography was made a century ago. Since then, it has evolved extensively as a tool that has revolutionized diverse fields in basic and applied sciences spanning geology, engineering, biology and pharmaceutical sciences to name just a few. Dr. Shekhar Mande, who is the director of the National Center for Cell Science and who has used X-ray crystallography extensively in his research, will tell us more about this. Dr. Mande is the recipient of many awards, including the prestigious Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar Prize for Biological Sciences. Over to Dr. Mande. Crystals have fascinated human beings for several ages. From time immemorial, their attractiveness has been valued by people, particularly in the use of crystals as ornaments. But their striking shapes and colors also have drawn people instinctively to the supernatural beliefs that crystals might have predicting powers, bringing luck or goodness, and more healing abilities. Over the years, crystals have been used in many appliances such as watches, radio, solar cells, computers, lasers, and so on. About a hundred years ago, scientists believed that crystals might be made up of repetitive arrangement of molecules in three-dimensional space. With this belief, Paul evolved in 1912, who was then working on his doctoral thesis in Munich on refractive properties of crystals, wished to discuss some of his research problems with Max von Lavey, who was a lecturer of physics. The two set up a post-dinner meeting in January 1912 with a walk in a garden where one of Evolve's observations struck Lavey that the distances between the molecules in crystals might be of the order of 1 500th or 1000th of the wavelength of visible light. After discussing the idea with peers such as Summerfield, Lavey with his colleagues Nipping and Friedrich exposed crystals to X-rays with a photographic plate placed behind a crystal. What emerged was to change the face of science forever. Lavey and his colleagues observed that the X-ray beam makes a strong impression where it hits the photographic plate directly in a straight line. But the photographic plate also showed strong spots which had deviated substantially from the straight beam. Subsequently, Lavey proposed on the 8th June 1912 that X-rays are diffracted by crystals which act as a three-dimensional grating for X-rays. This discovery caused a great deal of sensation in the physics world. In the meanwhile, the Bragg family in UK, which was holidaying, received the news of Lavey's discovery. William Henry Bragg was a well-established professor of physics and was pursuing the particle nature of X-ray theory. One of his sons, William Lawrence Bragg, was studying in Cambridge. The father and the son Braggs, recognizing the great importance of this discovery, and after several intense discussions, came to the conclusion that this technique had the potential to reveal the secret nature of crystals, that is, the arrangements of atoms within the molecules in the crystals. Lawrence Bragg, upon his return to Cambridge studentship, then proposed that diffraction of X-rays can be conceived as reflections from imaginary parallel layers of atoms in the crystals. He proposed a mathematical relationship between the glancing angle theta and the distances among parallel planes d, that is, 2d sin theta is equal to lambda. This has come to be known as the Bragg's law taught in high schools and colleges world over. Armed with this interpretation, Bragg's then determined the atomic arrangement within crystals of several minerals, salts, inorganic and organic compounds. The work of William Henry Bragg and William Lawrence Bragg during 1912 to 1914 in the process founded a new field of science which has had huge impact on humanity in general and natural sciences in particular. For their discovery, Lavey was awarded the Nobel Prize in the year 1914 and the father and son duo of Bragg's were awarded the Nobel Prize in 1915, the only father and son pair to be awarded the prize jointly. Lawrence Bragg, being awarded the Nobel Prize at the age of 25, also remains the youngest Nobel laureate ever. Among the structures that Bragg's determined in the early years were those of diamond and graphite. Diamond is a giant network of carbon atoms, each atom being tetrahedrally surrounded by four other carbon atoms. Carbon also exists in another allotropic form, graphite, which is commonly used in pencils. The structure of diamond and that of graphite elegantly explains the difference between the properties between them. May I suggest to all those husbands who have tuned in to this program that the next time you present a diamond ring to your wife, Please go down on your knees, present a diamond to your wife and then say, Dear, I present you herewith 
the most wonderful infinite array of tetrahedrally connected covalently bonded atoms. The technique that Lave had discovered and Bragg interpreted now allowed scientists to visualize atomic arrangements within the molecules like never before, with profound implications in understanding the nature of matter. Soon, many people around the world joined the pursuit of determining structures of molecules of great complexity, including the molecules that dictate various processes in the living systems. Structure of DNA determined in 1953 provides one such fascinating example. Among the early persons from India who joined the activity was Kedareshwar Banerjee, who determined the structures of naphthalene and anthracene. Some years later, the structure of collagen, which is among the most abundant molecules in animal tissues and gives strength to our muscles, was determined in the then Madras by Jain Ramchandran and his colleagues. In these hundred years since the discovery of X-ray diffraction, understanding the accurate geometrical relationships among atoms in different molecules has continued to enhance our knowledge of matter, living and non-living. More than two dozen Nobel Prizes have been awarded in this area. Who would have believed hundred years ago that with the use of this powerful technique, human beings can develop capability of making molecules that have great impact on human life? To honor the centenary of this magnificent discovery, UNESCO has declared the year 2014 to be the year of crystallography. Let us sit back and soak ourselves in the celebrations of 100 years of X-ray diffraction. Thank you Dr. Shekhar Mande for walking us through the interesting journey of this important discovery.